So if you just bought your ICOM IC705 and want to know how to use it and get on the air, well in this video I'm going to show a bit of a basic setup, what I did with my radio and uh, some of the, just the basics to get you up and running. Uh, of course it's always a good idea to thoroughly study the basic manual, so a lot of the things that I'm going to go through in this video uh, will be in the basic manual that comes with the radio for the IC705. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, dive in and have a look at this uh, fantastic new radio. Okay, for the initial um, setup that we might go through here, we might just uh, review some of the connections on the radio itself and uh, what, we, uh, what we get out of the box. So on the uh, left-hand side of the radio, we've got a B and C connector. So this is the main antenna connector for the radio. Uh, we've also got a, a speaker mic jack underneath these waterproof, I think, well, I think they're waterproof. Um, don't, don't try to, don't try to test that out. I'm not responsible for you uh, sinking your IC705 in water. But uh, under these rubber boots, I should say, speaker mic, uh, it's a three and a half, if it's, can't quite see that there, almost a three and a half and two and a half mil plug. Uh, so that connects the supplied microphone to the radio. So there's the, we've got the, the two connections on the radio there. Uh, there's a micro SD card as well underneath this flap. So you can see there that I've got an SD card installed in this radio, uh, 16 gigs. We've also got a ground. I've got this little plate that comes with the radio. So it's, a, it's called a microphone plate. And what that does is there is a, sp a split ring, mic microphone ring, if I can, show this you'll see there there's a little ring that's attached to the microphone so you just attach that to that ring and uh, that also takes the cable the strain off of the cable or the connections for the microphone so that's what that's for uh, on the other side uh, oh sorry on the bottom of the radio let's go to the bottom we've got uh, there's some supplied cushion rubber feet so just uh, peel those off the little pads and uh, put those on the bottom of the radio and then they're sort of a bit of a, an anti-slip uh, pad. We've also got a quarter inch bolt and some other mounting points here on the bottom of the radio. So that, uh, that quarter inch mounting point is very handy for a tripod. I've got a little Joby tripod here. So I can just tie that in to the tripod set my set my legs up oh, almost too high for so this and you get the idea I can set up the well oh, it's not very good up there let's do that down here and I can set up the radio on a tripod or wherever I'm operating portable so that's uh, very handy as well uh, the battery pack attaches into the back so that just uh, slots in slides in and clips on let's just turn off the radio and show that uh, so there's two clips to push down to remove the battery and uh, that's all the all the battery is so simply slide the battery down to the bottom with the clips in and push in until both clips engage and that's the battery plugged into the radio uh, on the other side of the radio we've got some more connections we've got the dc power connection so the supplied power lead with the radio uh, plugs into there so you can charge or run it off an external power supply. There's the micro USB um, connection there. The radio does not come with a micro USB cable, uh, but uh, they're fairly common. There's also the key, there's a key 3.5mm uh, jack in there too. And then we've also got a tuner and a send ALC. 
uh, jack there for connecting to external equipment as well. There we go, you can see that in the light now. Uh, the front panel of the radio, uh, very similar to the IC7300 or the 9700. And we've got a power button uh, on the left here with a little LED, um, our band pass, uh, our pass filters, uh, AF, RF and squelch. So adjusting this up turns up the audio up and down, pressing it once gives us access to the RF gain and the squelch uh, when you're in um, uh, FN modes. There's also the Vox uh, call buttons. Along the bottom here is a whole function of other button, uh, fun a whole bunch of other buttons, which we'll uh, dive into shortly. Uh, the menu function, scope, quick, and exit button. Uh, there's also the multi control up here. So you tap that, and we get all sorts of different controls that we can that we can change. And we've got ROT. Uh, XFC, MPAD, scan, auto tune, speech, all these other things which are detailed in the manual. Uh, so we'll have a look at the menu operation of the radio next and uh, see some of the basic settings that you may need to set before operating. Okay, go up and head, uh, go ahead and power on the radio. You'll see that the latest firmware number is detailed down the bottom. Gives you a quick uh, glance of the battery power and also the power of the radio that is currently set. So I've just got it set up here in the normal meter mode at the moment. Of course, this is a touchscreen radio, so touching the screen will make that disappear. Holding will make the meters appear. Again, some of the modes up here, we've, we can just touch on the, on the mode and it brings up the mode list. If you've never used an IC705 or an IC7300 or even an IC9700 with the touchscreens, they're very user intuitive, so it doesn't take long to get to know exactly what all the controls of the radio are. Uh, VFOs, so uh, to select a frequency, we can tap on VFO, and we've got our various VFOs uh, and memories information in here. Uh, the back button, of course, gets us always back to the main menu. If we wanna enter a frequency, simply tap on the megahertz button, we can switch between our different bands, so we've got uh, all the bands listed there. Uh, we've also got FM radio and air band, and also uh, general coverage as well. Uh, there's also F-IMP, so that's a frequency input. So we can directly input a frequency. So if we go uh, 144.5, we can go directly to 144.500. Uh, other things that uh, you may want to know about on the main screen here is that every time you do touch it once and you want to get it back is long hold and that will bring up what you want. If there is only one meter showing as before, you can tap once and toggle through the meters. This is usually when you've got the scope enabled you can tap through on the meters to change which meter you would like to show. Uh, alternatively, hold down on the meter when you're in scope mode and you'll get your main meter up the top here with all of your sub meters uh, down the bottom. Uh, sorry, your power meter at the top here and all of your sub meters down the bottom whilst you still have a, a scope here. Uh, let's plug in a signal to this radio so that we can see the scope working. So you can see the scopes, uh, uh, they're working now. If we tap on any part of the scope, it does expand that portion. And if we tap again, that will change the frequency to where we just tapped. Now if we click on menu, let's turn that down. If we click on menu, we've got other various options. So we can, obviously we can enable, turn on the scope to full. Uh, we've got our scope um, scope options down the bottom. Uh, there's also a different scope menu in here as well. Uh, if we click on audio, we get a bit of an audio scope. Uh, this here is the band pass of the SSB portion that we're listening to. So we can 
uh, check our or check our received audio and this here is an oscilloscope uh, oscilloscope view uh, on the right hand side and we can adjust the levels and the times and all sorts of things that we need to there uh, we also have in the IC705 a voice recorder so if you click on voice this will allow you to enter pre-recorded voice messages using the microphone and play them back again on the air so this is handy for contesting or if you're uh, using the same uh, say CQ calls then you can record them without having to constantly call CQ all the time and simply tapping on a button will play them. Uh, clicking the record set button will allow you to uh, record and uh, set those uh, accordingly. Uh, meter again, uh, we've already been through the, the meter options but uh, that is also detailed there in the menu. Uh, the radio also has an SWR uh, graphing tool so we can see here the we can uh, graph the SWR of our antenna. Uh, we've also so in the menus we've also got memory, uh, scan groups, um, memo pads, all those sort of things that you may need when you're out portable. We've also got a record QSO recorder in this so you can also record your on-air QSOs. It does record yourself as well as uh, the received signal as well. Uh, if we have a look here, if you go into the recorder set menu, there's some options here that I've changed. Uh, TX record audio I've set as direct. Uh, receive record condition. Now this will determine whether the radio always receives once you press record or whether it only does it when the squelch is open. So if you want to uh, have it so that it's not always recording white noise then the squelch auto is a, a good option uh, however always is good because you do get that continuous recording uh, file split uh, is I've got it currently set to off if you have it set to on uh, then it will split all of your recorded files uh, between when you're having a QSO between receive and transmit it will split them up which uh, I don't really like because I can get out of sync of where my recordings actually are so I turn file split off and that will record uh, in one continuously long file up to two gigabytes and then it will split it into a new file so uh, that's handy um, especially if you want to edit it later on a PTT auto record is turned on so as soon as you hit the PTT button the radio will start recording and pre record for PTT auto record will also record 10 seconds previous to you pressing the button so if there's a, a quick CQ uh, with a call sign that you wanted to um, uh, also record and then you quickly respond with the microphone uh, then it will record 10 seconds before you actually press the microphone so that's handy as well. Uh, under record we've also got uh, play files you can also manually start uh, recording and, uh, and other player menus as well. The second page here, we've got uh, DV memory for our, uh, our data voice uh, modes. Uh, CS, I'm not too sure what, I think that's clone, no, I think, oh, call sign, call sign uh, details. I've also got uh, DV replay. I haven't used many of the D-Star or data modes on this. There's also a picture mode so you can transmit and receive uh, pictures. Uh, there's also the GPS data in here. Now one thing that's very interesting, now I'm inside so I don't have very good GPS uh, signal strength in here, but if you click on GPS information, this will give you all of the GPSs that you're receiving. It will give you your altitude, your latitude, your longitude, but it will also give you your grid square. Yeah, it will show your, your grid square, which is very, very handy. Um, if you click on, sorry, if you click on GPS position, you've also got some other information there too, time, speed, and there, sorry, there it is, grid locator. Uh, so yeah, that's under uh, GPS position. So that will be very handy for you guys who are out sotering or out portable and want to know your grid square. Of course, you can also click the quick button and then scroll up to GPS position and that will get you to the same menu quickly as well. Uh, while I'm on that too, if you click quick, you can also check your voltage at this uh, point as well. Uh, there's also a DTMF, a DTMF memory, so you can um, edit 
and send DTMF memories because the microphone that comes with this radio does not have a DTMF pad. The set menu, this is where you set most of your set and forget options. So uh, we've got here tone controls, uh, bandwidths that we can set, we can set the highs and the lows of all the different um, uh, modes on transmit and receive. We've got uh, the split function, so information to do with the split, uh, tuner on, all these different settings that you probably should only have to set once uh, in your initial setup, depending on how you want to use the radio. Uh, my station, same thing, you can pop your call sign information in here uh, for the digital modes, uh, same to a DV set. You've got all of these different modes that uh, you can consult the manual to look at. Uh, there's also a QSO and receive history log uh, in there. The connectors menu is uh, an important one if you're setting up for uh, digital modes using your PC uh, or if you're using the RSBA1 software as well. Uh, you can set your speaker jack, what the function of it is. Is it for a, a speaker or is it uh, for uh, phone level or, um, sorry, speaker phone levels? I've also got a display, so the LCD does have an auto adjust, so if you tap that, there is a little sensor in here, which will detect uh, ambient light and will change the display accordingly, uh, depending on yeah how much light's available, so that is handy for when you're out uh, in the sunlight, it will adjust the backlight up and down for you. Uh, there is a screen saver on the battery pack, screen saver on power, um, all these different display options that you can set in the menus there. One thing to note, I think if you do accidentally set the system language to Japanese, it is also there is also a portion that's still in English, so you can switch it back to English if you do need to. Uh, this is where you set the date and time, so if you click on time and date, you can manually set the date and time in here. Uh, if you have it connected to Wi-Fi, you can also synchronize it using uh, NTP and you can just use the NTP server address or change it to your preferred one in here too. Uh, Bluetooth, so this is where the Bluetooth settings are for pairing to uh, the uh, ICOM headset or to your own Bluetooth speaker. So uh, all of your pairing and information is all in this uh, Bluetooth menu. Wireless LAN, again the same. Um, connecting to a Wi-Fi access point. I've just named my my radio IC705 so I can see it on the network. And in here is also the remote settings for the uh, uh, RSBA1 software for configuring for that. Uh, SD card, got the SD card menus here where you can view all of the info related to the SD card, uh, how much capacity is left on the recorder, uh, updating the firmware, the picture viewer, screen captures, all sorts of things. And other menu is also the information menu for the radio, so you can view the voltage there, uh, the version history with the firmware, uh, the MAC address of the radio. Um, we can clone the settings, we can calibrate the touchscreen and do partial or full resets. So I hope that's uh, just a quick overview of the IC705. Good luck with your new radio. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Ham Radio DX channel. Please uh, hit the thumbs up and also leave a comment on what you think of the radio. Uh, what are you looking forward to using it for? Are you going to use it for SOTA, for transverter operation possibly? Or is it just uh, another nice uh, radio that's uh, going to be used uh, at home for whatever purpose you have for it? Uh, thanks again for watching and uh, see you in the next video.